Hello and welcome to Dottotech. Thanks for joining us. Now today we're going to learn about the best way to file your taxes and the best way to put your message forward. But we're going to begin with digital imaging. The evolution of digital imaging has always been about three things. Quality, convenience and quality. Okay, make that two things. Quality and convenience. Every year we see a huge leaps in what we can do with our digital printers, scanners and cameras. The evolution of this technology means that the quality constantly improves and the convenience factor is often mind-boggling. This printer and scanner in front of me are the next step in that evolution and they also prove that sometimes bigger can be better. I've got here a big printer, Epson's R1400 and a little scanner that thinks big. This is the V500 photo. Now with the help of these two devices we can do so many things that we never considered possible before. For all sorts of hobbies, from the scrapbooker to the serious amateur photographer, from the small business person who needs to create quality signage, well the possibilities are endless. So let's begin here with the scanner. I want to start with it. This scanner will actually scan in at 6400 dots per inch at 48-bit color depth. That is staggering. When we started with scanners for our computers, it was 300 dots per inch was considered high resolution. But now we can get up to 6400 dots per inch, which means we can scan in now small slides and blow them up to large prints without losing quality. Now the big change in these modern scanners is this one has an LED light source as opposed to the old fluorescent light source that used to be in the scanners before. Now the LED light source is way better for a lot of reasons. First of all, it's much more earth friendly if you think about it that way. It uses less power. Plus it's much more convenient. There's no warm up time. It scans faster and it's more accurate as far as the color that it scans in with. For example when it's scanning in transparencies it'll scan in blue when it's scanning in a negative and it'll use white light when it's scanning in a positive transparency so you get much more accurate color as a result of that. Plus when it comes time to dispose of the entire unit there's no mercury in the lamp so the landfills are happier. Now it does have a built-in transparency unit in the lid which we remove this white plate here and allow us to scan in different slides and different types of transparencies. And as far as intelligence built into it, it's got a whole bunch of different photo fix software that's built in for doing things like correcting color, removing dust and scratch removal. It uses a technology called Digital Ice for removing those scratches and dust particles. Plus it ships with Photoshop elements so you can go through and you can even edit your photos that much further. If you have to scan in a lot of documents, it has an automatic document feeder as well. I think I better show you how it works though. This is a very typical photograph that we're going to be wanting to scan in when we get a scanner. This is a nice photo, but you know what? It's faded. I don't know how old this is. Maybe 20, 25 years old, this photo. Not that old, but it's badly faded. And that's typical of a lot of memories faded that you might want to capture. So when we put it on the scanner, let's see how it works and how it will handle a photo like this. I've launched the Epson scan software and this is very advanced software that makes scanning very easy. They have a full auto mode which is ultimately what we're going to use to scan in our photo here. But if you want a little bit more control you can also go into a home or professional mode. Now to be fair, the auto mode is almost always going to make the correct selection for all of the settings that you want. But if you want a little bit more control, say you're going to be scanning this in to go to email so you don't want a higher resolution printer file, you can set those settings within this dialog box. And if you're a professional, you can go in and you can add even other settings, choosing the type of document you're scanning in, whether it's a transparency or film, or if it's reflective like a photo, you can set all of the other additional settings, the depth of color, that sort of stuff that a professional might want to have access to. But I like full auto mode. Now I will go in and I will customize it slightly. I'll go into the customize area and I'll ask it to do color restoration for me automatically. It also does something called auto photo orientation which means it'll straighten out skewed photos and it'll separate multiple photos if you put a whole bunch of them down to scan at the same time. But the key here is the color restoration. I want to see if we can bring back some of those lost colors in that photo automatically just within the hardware and software built into the scanner itself. So I'm going to say OK to that and then I'm going to tell it to scan and now the software takes over completely. First of all it's going to do a pre-scan, finding out what photos are in the scanner, determining if they need to be split up, deciding if they're color or black and white. And here it's, you see in the little thought bubble it thinks about it, it's decided it's a color photo and now it'll start the process of scanning and color correction. Now scanners are often overlooked in the digital imaging toolkit. And that's because for the most part a scanner is only really used heavily when you first get one. You scan in a whole whack of photos capturing all of your favorite memories from the past and then use it occasionally after that unless you're using it for document work in which case performance is far less critical than for graphics work. 
This scanner blows you away with the resolution and quality. You'll want to use it all the time, not leave it on the shelf like you might have with some other scanners. And we're not done with this puppy just yet. Uh, uh, uh. We're going to blow up this photo that we just scanned to 11 by 17 and show you the scanner's real capabilities. Blogs, podcasts, streaming video, you can find it all on our new website. Check out dototech.com. <laughs>